thank you for um, your commitment and your passion that you show uh, in this work day in and day out. And I want you to know that uh, this council, uh, surely the administration and the community deeply values and appreciates your work. Uh, and then also just to say, of course, thank you to all of our public work staff, and we will be honoring and recognizing your service to this community later this month. Thank you. And we kick off this month of May with Public Services Recognition Week from May 1st through May 7th. This is a nationally celebrated event since 1985 and it honors the public servants who serve the community and its residents, businesses, and visitors. So thank you so much for all the work that you do. Next uh, proclamation for this evening, we did celebrate Administrative Professionals Day on April 27th. And this is observed annually in workplaces around the world to recognize the important contributions of administrative support staff, and administrative professionals play an essential role in coordinating the office and governmental operations within the city of Issaquah. Whereas the Office of the Professional Municipal Clerk, a time-honored and vital part of local government, exists throughout the world and is the oldest profession among public servants, and whereas the Office of the Professional Municipal Clerk provides the professional link between the citizens' governing bo govern local governing bodies and agencies of government at other levels, and whereas municipal clerks have pledged to be ever mindful of their neutrality and impartiality, rendering equal service to all. And I just wanted to say thank you so much to our city clerks and um, honored to give this to Clerk Geeser. Thank you so much for all of your help. This week, we wanna recognize all of the corrections officers who have an essential role and part in our justice system here in this community. We ask a lot of the men and women who supervise offenders in our correctional facilities. Their dedication, hard work, and sacrifice are essential to operating um, our facility here in Issaquah. Um, our uh, corrections officers are skilled professionals who must act as stealing your words, counselors, communicators, educators, experts in crisis intervention, absolutely the case. And then our corrections team is committed to ensuring that we maintain a safe and secure, humane operation in our jail facility. So please join me and thank and recognize all of our corrections officers for their contributions to our community. Thanks, Well, I, um, I want to acknowledge that we have a fabulous economic development uh, group in our city, and they certainly uh, demonstrated that during the last two years. Uh, visibly, we were... Uh, we saw the streetery, which was a huge success be put in place. But more recently, we've seen the little parklets going up. But that's the visible part of what they do. During the pandemic, they conducted surveys of businesses and they did outreach to virtually every business in our community. Congratulations to our economic development team and uh, congratulations on Economic Development Week. I'll turn it back to you. One of the whereas is says, our police department serves the people by safeguarding life and property, protecting them against violence or disorder, and protecting innocent, and, and protecting the innocent against deception and the weak against oppression or intimidation. And that really sums up my story there. The police showed up to protect me as a person and my property, potentially. Uh, they showed up and wanted to quell any violence or disorder that was going on, and they also wanted to protect the innocent, which turned out to be the individual suffering a health problem, protect the innocent against um, oppression or intimidation. And um, I really appreciated the police being there uh, when I needed their help. And so Paula Schwan and the police department, uh, thank you very much for all your help. We appreciate all your work. Thank you. <laughs> 